The next flaws that we see with the two-state solution in this series that we're, that we're doing on, uh, on flaws to the two-state solution is the uh, extends from the second intifada in the early 2000s. Intifada is an uprising where, where Arabs feel that they can act violently, throw rocks, shoot, bomb, um, and kill Israeli civilians, even children. Uh, that's, uh, that's what happened in 2000. After the failed Camp David summit, where it, uh, Prime Minister Ehud Barak and, uh, and Bill Clinton and Yasser Arafat gathered together at Camp David for trying to finally come up with a solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and a peace deal. So, uh, so Yasser Arafat returned to Ramallah after that failed summit and quickly initiated. And that now there are documents and 100% proof that he uh, initiated the Second Intifada. It also became clear to Israelis at Camp David that Arafat had no interest in making peace with Israel. He had engaged in, in bad faith negotiations with Prime Minister Barak and, and President Clinton, and he rejected all Israeli peace offers without even a counter offer. Since there was no counter offer, it became very clear to Israelis that he had no interest whatsoever in a peace deal, and the whole thing was a sham by him coming to Camp David. Later, and by the way, this is not just the Israeli side talking point. This is actually the talking point that President Bill Clinton in his book, uh, My Life. He writes that this is completely Arafat's fault that he had no interest whatsoever in peace. George W. Bush, the next president after Bill Clinton, when it, later elevations made clear that Arafat had actually started ordering the Intifada at Camp David in the midst of negotiations, George W. Bush forbade Yasser Arafat from entering the United States and having any sort of um, deal and promised the Palestinians, this is where the two-state solution officially got off the ground, a sec that he would be in favor of a second state if they became serious about peace. And when he meant serious about peace, he meant getting rid of Yasser Arafat. The Intifada had wide support among all sectors of the Palestinian population. And that's where Israelis lost faith for the most part in the Palestinian neighbors' capacity for peace. They looked at their neighbors and said, you're supporting armed attack against our children, blowing up our buses, blowing up our pizzerias. Why in the world would we want to have peace with you? You're clearly showing what side you're on when it comes to peace on one side and terrorism on the other. The Palestinians saw the Israeli response to the Intifada and realized that Israelis would always have the power to limit their movements. So they also gave up on the two-state solution as they realized that there would never be a balance of power between Israelis and the Palestinians. So even if Palestinians had their own state, it wouldn't do much for them because the Israelis would always be heavy-handed in making sure that they weren't able to create their, their own state.